Welcome, Welcome to, the, to pew. the Pew, a very titillating episode where you will hear all about the sex secrets of Michael and Ernie. And they but first, we're going to talk them. about raves. Mm-hmm. Yes, and yes, um, yeah. There was a, a great rave um, at a Toys R Us outside of London. Um, it was an abandoned Toys R Us. Um, during this, this was during Easter, right? Yeah, and. Um, they, you know, crossed out. It's, it's kind of very '90s where they cross out the, you know, Toys R Us, but raves are us. Um, but um, a bunch of people were arrested and they, they confiscated the sound system and stuff like that. So I guess that's very '90s, very outlaw party-ish. I like the idea. I mean, I, th- soon we're going to have lots of empty Toys R Us. Oh, I know in that, the U.S. Well, well, not only Toys R Us, but why Toys R Us went out of business, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but all over the place. I mean, I, I read somewhere that the retail um, market is going to is going to like like fifty percent is going to plummet, like because nobody's shopping anymore. They're all the shopping online. Definitely, there are are too many shopping centers. There are too many big box stores, and yes, a lot. Of well, I don't know if there are too many of them. Empty. I think that people just aren't 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 using them anymore. So I mean, if there weren't, well, not if people too aren't m- using them anymore, then there are too many. Well, <laughs> it could be argued: Are there too many stores, or are people just not <clears throat> interested in shopping anymore? <clears throat> because if there were enough stores five years ago or ten years ago, then and there are still the same amount of stores. Um, then you you could describe it either way. But um, you'd think that no, there would be more stores are, now. People are shopping just as much as always, but they're shopping online, so they're right. not going to. They don't need a big box. I know, but when you say anymore. there are too many stores, it implies that they just opened up a bunch of new stores. Um, it's the same amount of stores, but the 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 um, the, the craving, the yearning has gone away. Um, the, well, the, it's a, the demand. The demand is not there. Yeah. Well, um, you know, when the when the cars replaced. Horses, you know, I'm sure the people who made saddles, you know, thought that there's just as many saddles as we're just making as many as we always made. Why don't people want them anymore? And then they were saddled with all those saddles. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, we, we I, you also wanted to tell us about a fun party went to on Tuesday night. Where was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's actually a horse and saddle at on top. Uh, at the standard That is hotel. a terrible thing to say about Suzanne. <laughs> I'm not talking Which about Which is she, Suzanne. the horse or the sa- Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about a giant fiberglass horse oh, that fiberglass. is in the dance floor area of the club. Uh, it was, it's is big. It an it's art, so is big it an you art, can't even climb on top of it. Is it, a, is it an art um, piece? Is it somebody? I mean, it's a sculpture, and you. I have climbed on top of it in the past, but it's not easy getting up there. Is it like? Is it made sturdy enough to be climbed up on? Oh, yes, yes. It's huge. It's fiberglass. It, it, and do they it encourage you to climb on it? No, you're not allowed to climb on it, but oh. I, I broke the rules and did it anyway. You know, you know Howard is, not, is no longer the, the director of the standard. No? What happened no. to him? He retired. Oh, did oh, good for him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. Um, it's just kind of sad to think because when I think of Sandra, I think of I think of free well, free free meals at Howard. <laughs> um, but um, I'm sure he can still call those in if he if he wants to. Um, but well, I don't I don't the, even know who replaced him. Oh, I have to find that out right away. Nor I. Um, but I, well, I'm curious. Well, it was a great party. Is. I mean, did you see the photographs that Drew King took? I mean, oh I my God, he's one. so I, good. I love the one of you. Oh my God, he We're is gonna so good. We're going to flash it on the screen. It's so good. Yeah, he's really, Drew is really good. You know, he was supposed to do the um, the trading cards for Outrage, and he um, he sent me some mock-ups of, it, of what this should look like. Oh my God, they were spot on. He knows he knows what he's doing. And I don't know whether, what, because, you know, just anybody can't take a picture with a flash for some reason. It's like, you could really tell when somebody who knows what they're doing takes a picture, and Drew really knows what he's doing. It's, yeah, he really knows how to work his camera. It's, yeah. uh, we'll flash a few more pictures from on top. Those special effects he did with the lights were awesome. Yeah, he's really good. And um, he, you know, he the drag thing with him, Drew King is a photographer that comes to, to a party um, in kind of, it, it, a little bit of, uh, reminds me of the Fashion Patrol, because um, he he's well, except for the fast, fast patrol, patrol was a uh, gay. Drew is not, um, but he dresses in women's clothing, um, and it's kind of as a gimmick. But he also kind of enjoys it and has fun. Um, but since he started dressing as a woman, his business has like quadrupled um, because they're interested in having the wacky photographer um, who dresses in women's clothing. By the way, Ernie, I don't know if he talked to you about this, but when you called him um, kooky at one point, he was really offended by that. Like. He, he 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 thought or wacky wacky or kooky. Yeah, he mentioned it to me. Yeah, um, oh, he's not he's no longer offended. But I thought it was interesting that he was that he took offense by it. Was it wacky or kooky? 
I don't remember what the term was that I used, but he did mention that at first he he didn't like it, but then he decided that he did like it. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And so because bad. I mean, I wasn't saying it to insult him. Oh no, I know. I told him. I, I said that's a, it's a compliment. It, it, yeah, to us it was a compliment. It's like yeah. that's why we like. Was it. Was it freaky? No, I think it was wacky. I'm not sure. I can't remember the term. It, it was but, wacky or kooky. But, but he I, he has come to um, own the word and he likes it now. So um, that's right. good. Yeah, good for him. All right, yeah. so we'll be right back with uh, part Sex two, secrets. where you'll Ernie find out Michael. if Michael and I ever <laughs> had sex. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome, Welcome back, to, back the to the Pew, where we're going to reveal the, the secret, all the edition. truth behind the sex between me and Ernie. <laughs> and, you know, this is like the Project X cover. Remember, read all about the, uh, it'll say, read all about the, the, uh, the um, uh, Linda Evangelista's drug addiction, or, um, <laughs> or Elizabeth Taylor's chi- child, Elizabeth Ch- Taylor is a child molest, is a cigar chomping, lesbian, m- muff diving child molester. <laughs> Um, in hopes that they would sue us, of course, and they never did. Nope. Oh, but remember, one of them was a read all about the closing of MK. Remember that? I think you wrote it. And um, MK was a club uh, back then that was owned by Eric Good, and Howard Schaefer was the manager. And we were just looking for some kind of like gra- you know attention grabbing headline. So we, th- we said read about all about the closing of MK, which MK wasn't closing, um, and they were very upset about that because it implied that they were closing. But the art, if you read the article, it talks about clubs and how they're open from ten to four, and then every night MK closes at four o'clock, <laughs> and then they open the next day. Um, <laughs> but they were very upset yuck, about yuck, that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> So, uh, have we ever I, had sex? It fell on deaf ears when I tried to tell them that was a compliment. <laughs> I think our viewers want to know if we ever had sex. Well, I know, but I'm trying to drag it out. <laughs> um, so, tell, Not them, that tell, I all, tell them all about the time we had sex. <laughs> oh, we have never had sex. <laughs> uh, Unless you count the times that guys have come, came to our apartment and then like you had sex with them one night and then I had sex with them has another Has that night. ever happened? Who has that happened? Then that we, we've, we've had sex by like, what do they call it by? Sex by like, association. Sex by association. Um, sex, sex association. It's gonna be, I'm going to word or, it. Or you could call it sloppy seconds. I don't know. Or asso- associate, associate, no, sex association. I'm going to put that in my So my dictionary. that definitely happened. That I remember happening. Who? By who? I, I don't remember the kids. You know, it's like these... Kids. <laughs> when I say kids, I mean club kids who are grown men. Ernie and I have different sexual tastes. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. If he has one sex with kids, that's fine. I, I'm I probably certainly not fine did, by the parents. My parents I certainly parents did not. They were all grown men who were club, grown, G-R-O-A-N. Who were um, club kids in their <laughs> early 20s. So um, the only person I can think of is that that guy with the dread with the blonde dread dreadlocks um that went to boston market that time i don't know and free slept with him too but i don't know that you and i slept with him i maybe it was me and kiyoki who slept with the same guys oh probably but not at the same time right no not at the same time good we never did that either <laughs> you know kiyoki slept with julie uh, well i'm sure he slept with a lot of people yeah, i'm sure he did <laughs> <laughs> Did he sleep with you? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. Um, uh, we're not, we you have, know, by the we way, we're in know, bed together naked, I think. You know we're not. So who, you and Kyoki? No, you and I. You and I. Um, we were out of clubs naked. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, but, so, um, yes, you know, we have been given a decree. We have been given a decree, Ernie, that we are not to talk about Kyoki anymore. Well, you're the one who keeps bringing him up. <laughs> well, you go along with it. <laughs> I don't go along been, with it. We I have just... been warned again not to speak about Kyoki. And All I told right. Kyoki that we won't even mention Kyoki's name on the show. But you keep talking about Kyoki. Kyoki, Kyoki, Kyoki. Uh, <laughs> so, well, no more it... Kyoki. When will you right, start Kyoki? I mean, heating warnings? Heating warnings? Why? Are they cold? 
<laughs> Just like, do you need me to heat them up? Put in the microwave? Uh, yes. <laughs> I think they're pretty hot. <laughs> I don't know. Some warnings. I think that, that warning's pretty hot. <laughs> some warnings could be very cold threats. Cold. Uh, revenge is the best. Is a dish best to serve cold. And on that note. <laughs> We'll see you next adieu, time. Adieu. Hopefully, by the time uh, we come back, we will be in the same room. In the same room. Bye. Bye.